Movavi is the best budget video editor I touched till that moment. This video is brought to you by Movavi, but you know me, I never recommend some crappy things. I'll show you how to go from zero to hero, how to create epic YouTube vlogs. We are talking about speaking head, about tasty b-rolls, about green screen and fancy titles, music and editing. Let's directly jump to the computer. When you open the editor, that is the first thing you see, an empty timeline and a huge button to add your files. Of course, you can drag and drop them. I already prepared a couple of files, so come here and directly drop them in the timeline. The cool thing about the timeline is that it works at the same time as Premiere and as Final Cut Pro, there is a button. So if I wanna move something, the timeline is very snappy. It snaps everything and doesn't leave any empty space. But if you come here and you press that arrow, back arrow here, now when I select my clips and I can move them around and you can see that there is empty space. You can click on the empty space and delete it exactly like Premiere. Now, usually when I'm creating a B-roll for my vlogs, I'm deleting the sound. So you click on the sound and you press delete. Next thing, let's bring some music so I can show you the next fancy feature. You drag it here on the timeline and you have your own line for the music. Now we come here to that icon on the left side, it's written more tools and we go to the audio. It already opened the audio directory because we have the audio selected. We come to beat detection and we click detect audio beat. If you don't hear where the beat hits, the video editor will show you. Here on top of the timeline, you can hear the markings. Let's listen to it. And the next one, boom. So easy to create a fancy B-roll. So next thing, when you click on the video, you can see what you marked and you can trim it, but you can also use the scissor. Here on top of the timeline, there are all the tools needed. So you can press the scissor, but that's the, the slow way. The fastest way to work with the timeline is to learn the shortcuts and mark the clip, click edit. And here it's written all the shortcuts. So to split the clip, you press common B. To add a marker, you press Command M, and to insert a freeze frame, you press Command E. So let's try it out. Here we come directly on the beat. Actually, let's find a better moment when the model is moving the legs. So here, press Command B, delete the first part, and then here on the marking, we press again. Next is coming the drone clip. We directly mark here on the beat. Now that clip is really cool and I want to keep it for a little bit longer. So what I can do is to speed it up. We'll do a speed ramping. That video editor doesn't support complicated speed ramps, but you can do it the old way, the old school way. You split speed ramp part of the video and then you glue with the next one. So let's mark the part where we want to finish the speed ramp. So somewhere here, we directly cut it. Mark that clip. At the moment you click two times on the clip, you go to the clip properties and here you have fade in, fade out. You can reverse the clip so we can make the clip play the other way. And here on top is the speed. So I wanted something close to six, 700%. And then we can cut here on the beat, exactly here. Let's also trim the music. Now, when you film underwater, I highly recommend you to film slow motion. I don't know in which frame rate did I film that clip, so I don't know how much I can slow it down. So right click and file information. So bitrate, here it is, 120 frames per second. That means that we can slow down that clip four times. So we press OK. We come here and we write down 25%. And now we have our clip playing in slow motion. Now let's find some fancy moment here in between the statues. Okay, perfect. Uh, slow, slow motion is 10 times better. Next thing is color grading. So let's start with the first clip. Usually when I'm editing such type of B-rolls, I love working with LUTs because it's very easy and fast to color grade. Mark the clip, 
and here we click that circle, color adjust. And here you have manual mode where you can tweak, tweak all kinds of settings. You have the brightness, the contrast, you have the highlights. There is only one downside of that menu is that when you click two times on the dot, like, like that, it doesn't reset the position. In all Adobe programs, when you click two times, it's resetting the position and that's very easy if you make a mistake to reset what you are doing. Otherwise, you have to come and write it manually zero. Here is the LUT pack. There are already some predefined LUTs. I'm gonna use my LUT. By the way, I have a free LUT packs on my website, so link in the description. If you sign up for my newsletter, you're getting three free LUTs. To apply the LUT, just drag it over the video and it's already applied. If you click two times over the video, you have applied effects. So all the effects that were applied will come in that section. And if you wanna see before and after, you can tick that checkbox. So no LUT, LUT. Now let's apply that LUT to all the videos. Mark them all and drag on top of them. At the moment you have some effect applied, you get a star here on top left. Next we have the effects and that program is coming with thousand of effects. There are even effects that you can't find on Premiere Pro. You have to import them from somewhere and use some plugins. So some of the things are really amazing. The, the very basic adjustments are the flips. I use them all the time, especially when I'm doing some B-roll to match the clips better. I constantly use flip horizontal, flip vertical. So you just drag it on top of the clip and voila. You have as well overlays. So let me drag one so I can show you how it works. Now it's very strong. So we have to go to the applied effects and tweak it a little bit. So you can change the blending mode and play with the opacity. So usually I put such type of effects around 15 to 20%. And now when you play it, you have a really cool light leak. My next favorite part is the library with light leaks. You have so many different light leaks and you can control them. So let's import one and we can see what is happening. And now let's click two times, go to applied effects and here is the opacity slider. Reduce the leak and here is the result. At the moment you notice that you're using some effect very often, you come here on top and mark it with a heart and it will come here to your favorites. That's really handy and, and speeds up your workflow. I'm constantly using it with Premiere Pro. I have bookmarked several effects in that way. Another effect I really liked is the broken lens. It's really cool for Instagram stories. Let's increase the intensity. And at the moment you play the video, I didn't show you how you work with your project files. You come here on the first icon, that's the import. So the file import is the first one. Here you can record video if you use your webcam or you have connected camera to your laptop, you can capture your screen. On Windows that feature is really handy. For Macs they have a quick time player so you can by default record your screen, your audio recorder and you can capture some quick video. All the files you imported are coming here to the media bin. Next, you have sound, music, sample videos, backgrounds, and effects. All those things are coming by default with Movavi. And you can also purchase some additional sounds. Let's get the beep. Perfect. How it works? You drag it to the audio section and you can layer your audio files. So while the song goes, we'll get also the beep. Movavi has also a lot of audio control and effects. The first thing, what I watch when I'm creating a vlog is the sound levels. So when you play the video, it will show you the sound levels of the speaking or of the songs here on the right side. If the audio is too loud, you have to reduce it. So how you do it, you click on the song and here you have a slider. Let's reduce it with 20%. And now the song will play quietly. Another very good thing is that you can add points and control the audio levels manually. So for example, if here in between I have some speaking video, I would like to stop the song. So how do I do it? Mark the line and click two times on it and that will create a point. So we create four points and now we drag that middle part and here we'll have zero music. It's the same if you want to fade. You create two points at the end 
and now you're fading the sound. Not all video editors have that feature, but it's really amazing when you're creating a vlog. If you're a lazy video editor, I have the perfect button for you, Transition Wizard. So just click that button here and select on the drop down random and apply to all clips. And now you have transition to all clips automatically applied. It's a random transition. So we really don't know what the editor chose. We have to adjust them a little bit because they're too long and our pieces are too short. But let's check them out. Not bad. For a family video, those transitions are really cool. And of course, if you don't like the result, you can apply one more time everything. The transitions have their own tab and there are hundreds of transitions. There are so many transitions. My most used transitions, you'll be surprised, but is the, the crossfade and the parallax. I really love the parallax effects. Those are really cool transitions as well. And we have the zoom in and the zoom out transitions. I also really love them. Now, when I'm recording my vlogs, I'm recording with external microphone and I'm syncing the audio from the video file. In that way, you get the best quality. So here I have 22 minute clip and 23 minutes of audio. Let's import them directly in the timeline. Block. Now we select both files go to additional settings, audio editing, and here we have synchronization. So just click it, synchronize the two clips, wait a second while the program does the magic. That feature is missing on most of the editors. Very few editors have audio synchronization and for YouTube vlogs, that's vital. It saves so much time. Now we can align the two clips and we can delete the top audio. Very often when I'm recording tutorials, I have to show two screens at the same time and with Movavi is extremely easy. Grab one of the clips and drag it on top of the other. Now we come here to more tools, video editing, position. Now we can do picture in picture. That's when you're creating some tutorial and you can choose the speaking head to be small or the preview of the thing to be small. Or the other thing I really love to do is split windows. So let's say one window is here and the other one is here and we have both at the same time. If you mark the video and you double click, you can move it inside so you can adjust the composition. The next very powerful feature of the editor are the titles and the animations. So if you click here, the T, here you can find all kinds of different titles that are looking really, really cool. Especially for some B-rolls, those hipster titles look amazing. Let's find some. Let's write the perfect summer. And here it is how it looks. Those, those titles have already animations applied to them. But even if you take a simple title, you come here to more tools and you click animation and there are two ways you can do it. You have the easy, already predefined animations that you can do mostly everything with them or you can do it yourself. You can create your own keyframes. So let's, let me show you first the pre-animated. Let's animate from left to right. You drag it here and you just drop it. And here the title comes. If we zoom in, you see that it created two keyframe points. You can click on the keyframe and you can drag it in the very beginning. In that way, you control when the animation starts and when the animation finishes. And what is the duration of the animation? That's too slow. We need it really faster. That's perfect. Now, the next thing, if you click on the keyframe, you can control the position and uh, where the animation to finish. So if I pull it here, the title will come on the right side of the video. And that's how easy it is to work with the animations in Movavi. Click the keyframe and delete it. And that will delete the animation itself. When I'm working with big projects, very often I'm forgetting where are my files. So if you right click, you have show in folder. You click it and you directly jump to the file. Now let's speak about the green screen. There is not a serious video editor that doesn't support chroma key functionality. So here is my very famous video, the transition in the phone. 
and here the phone is green at the end. So we go to more tools, chroma key, we click the pipette and we select the green. So what we have to do is to find some cool shot. Let's get the underwater one. We have to push that video to be the top layer. So we push it on top and we push the underwater video under. And now if we play it, we should transition. Poof, perfect. Oh my God, that was so easy. On Premiere Pro it was harder. It took me 10, 15 minutes to really clean the shot. Okay, here we have a bit of problem. If you notice, the video editor spewed a little bit of the green here. So right here, there is a slight problem. So we have to play with the tolerance. So we double click on the video, apply to effects, chroma key, and we just reduce the tolerance a bit. That's how easy it was to create a green screen transition in Movave. The next amazing feature are the stickers. They can really spice up your videos and they have a special YouTube pack. So you have the subscribe button, the like button, those small animations really bring your video to the next level. Now, the most important thing, let me show you how to export your videos. Here you click on the big fat export button. Most of the time I'm exporting MP4. Here I 100% click on the advanced settings. Most of the time I export in 30 frames per second. If you want to be more fancy, you can export in 25 frames per second. Like that when you're slowing your video down, you're getting 20% slower footage. Resolution is 4K and here is the bitrate. It's very important that the bitrate is a medium or high. Here on top you have the video codec. 90% of the time I'm using H.264. Add your file name and just press start. And that's everything you need to know to be able to create amazing videos with Movavi. I hope that tutorial was enjoyable for you. See you in the next one. Bye.